Hi everyone. Um, today is Friday, March 14th, 2014. It's about 8.05 p.m. I am officially one day post-op now. Um, let's see, I met with the doctors today. I saw Dr. Lintner by himself for a while. Um, he took his time with me. He showed me, well, first he removed the packing that was in my nose. Um, it didn't hurt, uh, but it wasn't comfortable. I thought I was going to sneeze, but thank God I didn't. Um, he showed me how to care for my nose, how to clean the suture areas, the inside of my nostrils uh, with peroxide and the saline solution and the bacitracin, which is um, an antibiotic, kind of like Neosporin. <clears throat> um, I asked him, you know, were there any problems or complications during the surgery? And he said, no, I had plenty of cartilage to build everything that they needed as far as the tip and the bridge and all that. Um, I, with the chin implant, there were... Uh, my jawline kind of was concave, I guess, kind of went in a little bit. So he said they had a little bit of a hard time trying to figure out where to where to place it, but they did figure that out, and it's in there, and it's fine. Um, then, as I was waiting or for my appoint to make my next appointment, Doctor Solomon came out of consultation with someone else, and he looked and he touched. Uh, my chin area just wanted to make sure that there was still sensation there that I could feel his touches and I said yeah and he said uh, that it went great they both said everything went fine uh, it should heal very nicely and I totally believe them because if you look at my eyes I don't have any of that um, bruising that I've seen on everybody's video everybody had a black eye or something that formed and it doesn't seem like I'm gonna get that I did have a lot of icing yesterday. I mean, literally for hours. They would remove it for about a few minutes and then they put it back on. So whatever it is, I feel like it's me. I feel like I'm a beast and my body's just like, what? And it handled everything for me. Um, I do have a little bit of issue with the chin. Uh, my left side of my lip is numb. There's swelling right here still. Uh, I just feel it. You know, I just know it's there. No my nose I don't feel anything and that's god it's just so crazy to me that I don't feel anything with that part oh uh, let me see uh, they broke the bones uh, built me a bridge and built me a tip and he said they brought in my nose four or five millimeters I think he said which was quite a bit uh, I told him I feel like I have a cold, like I had the chills yesterday and things like that, and he said that that's actually normal, because uh, I was afraid if I get a cold and I'm trying to heal, if that would cause any problems, but that's just normal. Things I'm glad I have here at home, Vaseline, because my lips, and this is Vaseline with cocoa butter. And because my lips are just extremely dry. Um, also, I went to CVS before all this, and I bought some what I thought was gauze. It's no, it's nonstick pads. And yeah, these totally don't work. And they're they literally are pads, and they don't form around your nose really well. I had to go back to the store today. And I got rolled gauze, which is closer to what they were using in the aftercare facility. And it looks like this. It's just you have the ability to, for you know, roll it and form it around your nose and tape it down with the paper tape. So um, I'm glad I have that now. I am so glad that the surgery coordinator in their office talked to me about Uber. And it's like a taxi service, um, but it's an app on your phone. Uh, and it's spelled U B like boy E R. And you download the app and you just let them know 
it, it, wherever you are, your phone will put you on a map and you just click, you know, find location or whatever. And you request a car. You have a few choices of the type of car that you like. Of course, I always chose the cheapest one, the UberX car. And they'll come pick you up. And it tells you how long it'll take them to get to you. You can track the car on the on the phone. It's totally awesome. You pay by putting your credit card into the app so you don't exchange any money with the driver. There's no tipping or anything like that. The cars that I've been in are clean. I've had to use it at least, what, four times? And then today, when I got home and I realized that these pads weren't working, I needed to go to the store. Well, I couldn't drive, so I Ubered, and they came and got me, took me to the store, waited for me, and then brought me back home. Um, I don't remember how much that cost, but I've used them throughout this whole traveling experience when I had to get to L.A., and then get back home and they go to the store right now um, so they're great you sh should try them if you need to get around um, let me think I think I think that's everything I feel fine um, the only or the only pain medicine I'm taking is the codeine uh, Tylenol with codeine and I only need to take one I take one every four to five hours if I'm in pain I took one at nine this morning and then I took another one again at five um, and I, I still feel great so I probably won't take another one tonight unless something starts to hurt uh, let's see so that's it so far I'm really happy um, you, you can kind of see my nose right now but it's totally still swollen I'll try to go in a little bit closer um, it's kind of gross because of the sutures and all of the antibiotic stuff that's on it but let's see if you can see yeah my nostrils were already um, um, misshapen before they weren't exactly round so okay sorry for the grossness okay now I'm gonna do the picture this or the profiles straight on of course and then three quarters profile view can you guys already see the difference here I feel like I can in my chin I don't know about the nose but it's still all taped up then we have that side. I love this side. Okay, um, I, and I actually went out in public today and walked into the store and stuff. I was just straight up telling everybody, yeah, I got a nose job and I need some gauze and stat. Because my nose was still uh, bleeding a little bit and running a little bit, like discharging. So uh, I'm not going to hide it. I'm going to walk around my neighborhood. In fact, I'm about to go check my mailbox right now. Um, all right, if you guys have any questions, um, please hit me up. If you want, you can subscribe to this channel. And then when I do updates, when you go onto your YouTube, you can see that there's a new video out there. Otherwise, I'll keep shooting it to like my family, friends, and coworkers. Um, all right, well, I'm out of here. I will update you guys tomorrow on the progress. And we'll go from there. Bye.